Hey, 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 what's going on, my kings and my queens? This is your girl, Queen C1A Ray with Queen Creative Diva House of Queens TV. And we're going to do a reaction to all of Funky Dineva's roast gigs and gags. So I hope you guys is ready for it to get your laugh on, because I sure am. So I know the stuff that's going on in social media streets that's dealing with Tiffany Haddish and Aerie Spears. And so I just want to lighten the move just a little bit, you know, let's not get into the Tiffany Haddish and Aerie Spears foolishness so let me give you guys some laughter some gigs and gags you know because um i don't want to report on this right um at this at this moment because i am a survivor of the um sa so i don't want to jump into this right now so i'm just going to give y'all some roasts and some gags and some laughter just to um lighten the move up on my channel because i'm not ready to jump into the the mess that's dealing with Tiffany Haddish and those children. So let's get into some gigs, some gap, and some laughters. Hey, shout out to Funky Dineva, Claudia Jordan, and Al um, Renard. <clears throat> so hey, let's get into some gifts and some gags. Hope you guys enjoy the content. Let's get it. Let's go. See, get it, Funky. I, I, I got a high beat stand song. <laughs> So you know. Al? Okay, so I'm gonna 
disagree with Von Keats. The former hot boys member Turk said that he cheated on his girl when he was in prison, but he refused to say if it was with a woman or a man. Now, he also mentioned that uh, when you have a name in prison, you have access to everything in prison. But his girl decided to stay down with him after the ordeal. Like she's rocking with him. What do y'all think? And why do you think he didn't really answer the question about, what, you know, the gender of who he cheated on with? So we're still in this penis versus vagina. <laughs> uh, I just read the script. <laughs> listen, listen. Be mad. The context clues alone tell us everything we need to know, okay? It's not hard to say it was with a woman. How difficult is that to say if it was? And then the word still, but my girl chose to still stay down with me. But why would she have to still stay down with you? What was so bad that the still was an exception? Um, how long he was in there? Uh, I don't know. Oh, was it a couple that, years? Did you see that episode of Atlanta? When he said, the guy was like, well, you slept with a man when you was in prison. He was like, oh, man, that's jail. That don't count. Right. Like, it's giving me a real, that's jail. It don't count. Right. Um, you know, you <laughs> listen, you know, everybody's got urges and desires. And after they get to drinking their toilet wine and all that <laughs> testosterone be flying outside on the back. Of every single one of these products, and I'm so excited for you guys to get your hands on it. You guys are gonna just love it. You come shake. So what happened was she went to the who lady, <laughs> and the who lady is a seer and a medium, and brought Michael Jackson through, through her, and he stayed in her too long. He was only supposed to stay. <laughs> seconds before the spiritual world in the universe collapsed <laughs> and had to call Harry Potter to fix How it. does that work, right? Because I'm like, like, okay, you're my private equity uh, date guy. We're at dinner. I get the phone call. The surrogate is in labor with my baby from another man. Now private equity guy comes with me to hospital and congratulates me and holds the baby. Like, we need to talk about it. Another woman is making claims that Tristan Thompson is the father of her child. <laughs> I have. You know, I know that this is Tristan's scandal, and I hate to make this about Chloe, but y'all cannot tell me that that woman, Coochie, is not a cornucopia filled with communicable diseases at this point. Okay, that's not what you do when you do something wrong. You don't give your daughter flowers. What are you giving her flowers for? It's obvious she don't like that Tuesday nose because mama turned them comments off. They was eating her ass alive, okay? They was eating the OJ daughter alive. The woman, Marilyn Nichols, is suing Tristan for child support before the child is born because you know he likes to get missing right before the due date. Said Tristan admitted to sleeping with Nichols around the same time he was begging and talking about Chloe Kardashian being the love of his life. But, you know, he says it only happens once. Sis! Sis! He keep embarrassing you down to the internet. Then, like, Chloe, come on. Of all the things that your mama can manufacture and whip up in her kitchen of deceit, she needs to be able to whip up some damn self-esteem, sis. Like, for real, for real. Like, the quiet as it's kept, I'd rather you go back and get Lamar Odom ass from Carly Red. At this point... The way this man embarrassing your ass all around the internet and around the world, and I, yeah, yeah, why Jordan Woods sitting over there with her man looking pretty with her new body. How you doing? Her pretending like their relationship is something unique, different, and better than everybody else's is why she's constantly being embarrassed in, on, in social media, in America, across the board. Like, you looking real thirsty right now, sweetheart. All you gotta say is I'm in an open relationship and I love my man. And then what else? We're here forgiving babies and getting over that. How would you forgive the, the, the girl that was Bessie's with your sister and how this is who loves your family? Who happened to, you know, young, dumb sh sh crap right there? It was a kiss. It was a kiss. And I, I, I just don't think it was cool how they how they did Jordan. Please don't invite me on the show. She got that nasty woman's disease. No, this is. Honestly, Dude, did you say her Tuesday nose? Tuesday nose. So the Al said that she don't like it on Monday. She changed it. He has continuously shown to you 
that he is interested in other women. Call it for what it is. It's an open relationship. Stop pretending like he's just yours and he's going to eventually just be with you. Cut it out. Chloe and all the other Chloe's out there need to see that this man just does not care about you. He does not. He likes the association. He likes the perks. But this man does not care about you. And she needs to move on. And he needs to grow up and learn to communicate and be direct with women about what he wants. Not a snout. That clearly is not a style. That is not a style. A snout. <laughs> What do y'all think about this? And do you think Clay will take him back? Yes. I think Tristan has little boy syndrome. I think that his 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 brain development got stunted at the age of fifteen. <laughs> I, I bet that bitch wish she had a time machine take her ass back to the future and get her Monday nose or maybe even her last Sunday nose because her Tuesday nose needs to go in the garbage on Friday. And that's on Mary had a little laugh. <laughs> um, and you know what? It's just interesting and weird to kind of figure out this whole non-traditional thing. Because when I think about surrogates, I usually want to support surrogacy when a woman is not able to conceive. Not surrogacy just because someone doesn't want to mess up their body. I think Chloe, although her outside looks like is improved now, I guess you'd say. I think inside, Chloe in her mind is still the less attractive sister in her mind mind because the way she acts and what she puts up with good, good thing jim henson muppet still exists she can have what? another run over there since they don't uh, kick off kicking it with the kardashians she she got children's now she can go over there be in the live action version of, of muppets on ice or off broadway or the, whatever the hell she want to do with that snout and this ain't the man for you sis because it's so disrespectful at this point it's so disrespectful, and in Flynn is really funny that she was supposed to be on this show too, but um, we couldn't let it happen. I mean, the unpredictableness of of her nature, and I think like she's charismatic, she's beautiful, and she's actually funny. We had a lot to say. So, Al, what do you think about this? Listen, um, regardless of her challenges with the English language, which I really like, Dawson. To be honest with you, I think she's street smart, and she obviously is very successful. Welcome back to TGIF. All you people in the YouTube comments, I see you. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, we've been looking forward to the show. <laughs> All uh, week. You what? Need, you need a Wendy's chili. <laughs> <laughs> Your ass is over there three sheets for the damn week. Now, where is she? Needs some crackers. <laughs> Somebody get up, uh, get up <laughs> the water. I don't Plenty of people. Plenty of people. I'm the time, and tonight's show is on fire. Speaking of fire, Roland Gray had a major health scare this week. The wheelchair bound. Who wrote that? Disabilities people can get you. I'm trying to be the wheelchair bound star was rushed to the hospital <laughs> burns after his wig caught on fire. That's young, and I want to try to keep it down for Oh, this is bad. I didn't even want to come to work tonight because I was scared of being sick. And I saw one comment on my Instagram that said, so if you burn air, you can't walk. Can you basically just park inside at this point? And I died. You the devil. <laughs> you the devil. I I died. And, and, and here's the thing, right? Because this is not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny at all. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. And I'm not laughing at I'm, I'm and, 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 we did, and we're not mature enough to do this story. I wait a minute. Did you say, I just want to make sure I heard you correctly. Did you say if you are handicapped and burnt, can you park inside? At this point, right. I mean, because it, it, have the people figured out yet how the wind caught fire? Did he roll up as a candle? Did he, what in the aqua when that hell was going on in that wig for it to catch fire? Oh, it was synthetic. So I'm saying that 
human hair wig save lives. I don't know that blonde is your color, Mary. I like blonde. I like the blonde. Because. Okay. 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 Yeah, I think Lamar Odom needs to get over it. But according to the shade room, Lamar Odom have bigger issues to worry about. Brother, you need to work on that continence issue that you got from Boo Boo and in the bed. Now, what they tell me, I don't know. But if you need to strip in that rectum, you need to try what's those uh, 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 uh Kegels? Kegels? Yeah. <laughs> so do men do Kegels to tighten the booty? Okay, girl, bye. Well, listen. I did, man. <laughs> I did, girl. I didn't save you. <laughs> you don't go ahead and go to skin and strength. Video of Lil Kim dancing next to an image of a leprechaun. Not funny. 
If you guys um, enjoyed the content so far, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell button. Hit all so every time I upload, you guys will be notified. Also, go ahead and hit that thumbs up so it can stimulate the algorithm. Also, leave a comment in the comment section so I know what you thought about this content. Again, go ahead and subscribe to the content. Hit all so every time I upload, you guys will be notified. Also, hit the thumbs up so it can stimulate the algorithm. Leave a comment in that good old comment section so I know what you guys thought about this content. Let's continue. It all. I was hoping to laugh with you, but corny, boo, you falling off. I'm too bad and too fly in this video. You reaching now, but we all know why. She added. L-M-B-O. Keep them coming, boo-boo. Oh, let me know. I'm on your brain 24-7. I love it. DM me next time and I'll send you exclusives because you mad. Uh, let's see that video one more time. The video real quick. <laughs> Was 50 Cent out of line trying to insinuate that little Kim like there's a similarity here? What do you think? And that is my girl. I'm not saying nothing about this story. Y'all go ahead. This is all y'all.
Hazel E. is throwing a whole lot of shade, saying that Cardi B. Oh, my God. She said that Cardi B stole her princess-themed party. She's claiming that Cardi is, you know, checking for her. What do y'all think? When Hazel E. almost died in Turkey, it is beyond obvious that she left her damn brain on the operating table, okay? Hazel E. You know... I, I, I don't know what classification of mental illness the American Association of Mental Health would give you for you to think that Cardi B is sitting somewhere copying you. You. Like, if Cardi B would have threw an avatar party, Looking at you, then I would have said, okay, Hazel E. inspired this party. That silicone don't left her ass, traveled <laughs> through her esophagus, came out her nose, back in through her ears, and landed in her damn brain. She don't go sit her goddamn ass down somewhere. I can't stand that damn girl. I, I, it's because she ugly. You know what I'm saying? It's just... If this but just because she ugly, like sit your ugly ass down some damn way and, and and you first of all, I, I told you the last time I got your ass together that you needed to be giving your life to the Lord. You God did not bring you back from the break of death when you was over there in Turkey for you to get on the internet and start this damn shit. You don't take your ugly ass to damn Sunday school some damn well and leave this damn girl alone. You y'all you ain't got no choice but to be a troll when you look like one. Only difference between Cardi B's party and Hazel E's party is that Hazel E's party actually was the princess and the frog, and she was the frog. <laughs> Trauma 
that your child had at age five years old, and that lady looked baffled, bewildered, and just uh, flat out. Okay, bro. So I'm not gonna spare her, despite the fact that she had a medical situation. Let me tell you something. What happened to Hazel E is the direct result of this Instagram thought like culture. Everybody want to be a bad bitch. Everybody want to be fine and Gucci now. And the reality of the situation is, bitch, you 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 know, forty nine cent reduced lunch. Okay, you cannot <laughs> explain to me how and why you live in L. A. The capital of plastic surgery. The plastic surgery was created, developed, fortified, bona fide, and every other fine, okay? And that you had to take your ass to Turkey. First of all, the girls in the pandemic is going to Tulum, they is going to Cabo, they is going to Jamaica, and they is coming to Miami. The girls is not going to Turkey. I don't even know where Turkey is on the map. So how the hell this bitch fucking around and found a goddamn plastic surgeon? A plastic surgeon in Turkey is beyond me. The people then said you get what you pay for, okay? And apparently Miss Girl got what she paid for. Now Miami is flooded out with people down here creating plastic surgery aftercare centers, which suggests their surgery is already reduced, like the lunch she eating. In Miami, you chose to take your ass around the world and I, I, I to get them saggy, bastard hound titties worked on and almost damn died in a true National Geographic fashion. You should have brought your ass down here to Miami and got the $3,500 titties that the rest of the Latin girls down here is getting and carried your ass back to L.A. and took care of your damn baby. Okay, that's what you did. Instead, and then she had the nerve because I had to look this up, baby. Mama gonna say I have some mom guilt that's ripping me apart. I was just trying to have my baby internationally known. I want her to be well traveled before me. You wanted your damn baby internationally known. First of all, who the hell is your baby? You have fans locally known, but you were why would your baby be of any importance? in Turkey. Mm. And if I was going to tell my baby somewhere for her to be internationally known, I think the first stop would have been Paris, London, <laughs> England. It ain't nothing notable in the U.S. by no bitch from Turkey, okay? The only Turkey we hear about is on a five, five dollar, five dollar foot low. That's the only Turkey we know. So, girl, all of this up of one bad decision Jonathan Patton was one bad decision away from being in prison, and your ass was one bad decision away from being in the grave. Embrace them titties. Embrace what you got, because you're not that cute. You're not that fine. And no amount of turkey surgery, Russian surgery, Brazilian surgery. <clears throat> okay, you guys, again, if you like the content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell button so it can... Uh, so you guys be notified every time I upload. Also, go ahead and thumbs up the content so it can stimulate the algorithm and let everyone that can find my content also comment in the comment section so I know what you guys thought about this content for this good old nasty read from who fucking Dineva, baby. Again, go ahead and subscribe, like, and comment. And also, if you want to donate $8, dollars Go ahead and hit the cash app at dollar sign House of Queens TV. Again, dollar sign House of Queens TV. I will leave the link in the description box and I also will put it in the comment section. Thank you guys all for supporting the channel, viewing the content, and I appreciate you guys all so, so, so very much. And I love you all. See you guys again next time on House of Queens TV. Bye, you guys. <laughs>